Hey everybody, this is Reed with Dusterhoff Racing, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your RTD device, how to flash the vehicle, and then show you the data logging process. So, let's get into it. So, our next step here is going to be setting up our TDN account. Um, so, go to your App Store or the Google Play Store on Android, and you can just search for TDN or HP Tuners, and it'll pop up. So, open up the app. This is what it should look like. Uh, first thing we need to do is set up the account. So go into account and register new account. And it will take you out of the app into your internet browser. And then from here, as it pulls up, it'll say sign up now down here at the bottom. Click that. And then we will just go in here and set all this up. So I just went ahead and filled in all these fields here. Got to set up your password and then just put in your name and make sure you check I'm not a robot um, in case you are a robot then just don't check it and we will hit send code so what that will do is just go ahead and send a verification code to your email and you'll just pull that out and copy and paste it there and then hit verify code so I just went to my email and copied that code so I will paste that right here and check that give it a second perfect make sure you hit verify code after you do that as well looks like I just had the wrong code copied so we just want to copy and paste it there hit verify code perfect make sure your password is the same there and we'll hit create and then it'll just take a minute to set everything up we'll be right back so after you finish setting up the account in your uh, web browser it should just kick you back to the HP Tuners main page. From there, just make sure we switch over to our TDN app and you will log in with that account info you just set up. So back into our TDN app here, let's go ahead and log in. Sure, we can save the password for it. And this is where you're gonna input the uh, invite code. So when you make a, the purchase with us for the tuning and get your RTD device, we will email you a code. It should be unique for you. Um, so I will cut back right after I type this in. So after you type in the code and hit join, just give it a second and you should get this message to pop up. Once you've sent the invite code, make sure to let us know. You can either give us a call or shoot us an email. That way we know to go in and look for it and accept the request for you. And accept it. So now that my invite has been accepted, um, I had to restart the app for this to pop up, but you'll know you've been accepted when it shows Dusterhoff Racing right down here. So after getting the account all set up and the invite code sent over, now it's time to connect with the RTD. So we will go here to Tools, and then up here, the second option, MPVI slash RTD Setup. And then we will just follow the prompt along here, plug it in, ready, it should show a green light on the device. And then you will press and hold until the Bluetooth light is blinking. I'm doing that now. There it goes. Hit next and now it will search for the device and could take a minute to pair, but we'll be right back when it does. So once it works, this is the screen that is going to pop up. That means you are all connected to your RTD device. You should get a little prompt like this down at the bottom and make sure that you hit pair. And that popped up because I didn't hit the pair button. So this will keep going and just give it a second to finish loading. And so this is what it's going to look like while it's setting up. It may take a minute, so just give it some time and let it go through the process. So it finally finished loading everything into the device. It took about five to 10 minutes and we'll just hit finish here and we are good to go. So from here, you're gonna to wanna to go to your home page, then over here to flash and we'll hit read vehicle down here at the bottom. Yes, now it is connecting and reading. So we'll just give it another minute here and we'll be back when it's finished. And while it's doing this, I should mention, don't be alarmed if the vehicle starts doing some strange things, cuts off, warning lights. 
that's just part of the uh, process, basically, at just pulling the files and reading the car. So don't be worried. Also, I'll add while, while doing this, don't touch anything. Don't hit any buttons in the car while it's doing it. I just made the mistake of opening the door, and it canceled the process, so we're redoing it now. Um, we're using a Ford F-150 right now, but it's going to be the same for any vehicle. Um, the truck did just shut off, so like I said earlier, don't be alarmed if it starts doing some funny things to the vehicle. It'll all go right back to normal once we're done and turn the key off, and then back on, everything will be back to normal. It okay? So once it's finally finished, this is going to pop up, and we are just going to hit OK, and now you are connected to the vehicle. So now that everything's done and has read the vehicle, you will tap on it here, and this file here that says restore, so that's going to be the stock vehicle file. Um, so basically what you want to do from here is you're good to go ahead and send your PCM off to HP Tuners for it to be unlocked. Um, when you do that, make sure you go ahead and send us your pre-tuning form completely filled out with all the new parts and info for the vehicle. That way, by the time you get the PCM back, we can begin the data logging and tuning process. So once the PCM is back in the vehicle and we have gotten a base file sent over to you, it should read 001 and we are going to get that loaded into the vehicle. Uh, but for this instance, I need to load number five, but you'll be doing number one. So we will tap that, and then we will hit write, and then sync files. So now it is loading that file into the vehicle, and we'll be back when it's finished. So once it's done, this should pop up, and you'll just hit close, and from there we are good to go. Now that it's done, it'll say complete up here at the top, and just hit OK. And now we are good to begin data logging, and the file is loaded into the vehicle. So along with that file, we'll send you instructions on what kind of data log we need. So from here, you're good to go ahead and start the vehicle. So from our home page here, to get to the data logging page, you're just going to hit the bottom middle button, and we will hit start. Yes. And now it is connecting. So now that it's all loaded in here, the data log has started, so you can see all of the data points here. So for your initial data log, we're going to send you instructions um, directly from the tuner that's going to basically tell you exactly what we're going to need so we can get all the data that we require. Start out. So we've already got the vehicle running, as you can see the RPM there, and we're just going to go ahead and start with a quick little drive around the racetrack here. Not on the track, just around it. So as we're cruising around here, you can see all the data points changing, which means everything is working exactly as it needs to. So after doing your initial data log for a bit, you will hit stop, and then view and sync files, hit got it. And then actually you want to go back into your vehicle page here, Go down to the bottom and hit sync files. So whenever you do that, that is going to make sure that we have all the data we need from that data log. And one thing to add, make sure that the file that you are sending over to us does have a green check mark next to it. If not, you may have to hit upload and then hit sync. So essentially from there, we're going to just be repeating that process every time we send a new file over or a new revision. And each time we'll send you instructions with exactly what we need. Could be a you know wide open throttle from third gear to shift or something like that. Each time it might be different, but that pretty much wraps up the entire data logging and loading the files and getting everything set up.